what we can see happening presently is that TR4 is extremely devastating. When we look at what has happened with tropical storm bread, we had probably about 75% uh, crop um, banana damage island-wide. Now, while that is extremely devastating, comparatively speaking, what you can find happening with TR4, which is a soil-borne disease, it would wipe out the entire industry. And this, it's a, TR4 is a soil-borne fungus, and it lives in the soil, it can live in the soil for over 30 years. The nature of our many small holdings throughout the island, the ripple impact can be enormous. So I just would really like to highlight the significance of ensuring that we as the public, as farmers, as TV doors, persons that work at the ports, uh, whether it be the airport or the seaport, all of us, our role is extremely essential in ensuring that we play our part to ensure that TR4 does not reach our shores. Additionally, TR4, the modes of transmission, is basically a lot of it can be through human movement, you, the, way you, the way we behave, the way we act. And humans, we can transmit that disease through. It can, the pathogen can be transmitted through soil, through water. It might be a plant. We might be traveling somewhere. You might see a heliconia plant, which is related to uh, heliconia is related to the banana family of plant or also plantains. And we might take that plant and put it in our bag and try to pass through customs, and it going on undetected. These are ways that just one little action by one person can have a huge ripple impact right across the banana industry and affect numerous lives. There are thousands of persons that are, depend on the banana industry. And like I just said, look at what has happened. Farmers are extremely resilient. Uh, they're going to be, some of them have already started rebuilding. From what we saw on the Friday afterwards, farmers had already started working. But we as citizens, we as people that, that travel for one reason or the other, or sometimes we might see we might get a plant from somewhere, you know, back door, um, one of our neighboring countries, because TR4 is already in neighboring Venezuela. The impact of it, the devastating impact of it, is, can really be profound. So each of us need to take our part seriously, and it has to be a sustained approach over an extended period an extended period of time.